Top of the morning. Me and Matt are about to go catch a 10 pounder. Stay tuned. We'll call you. This is uh, day number three in Central Texas. We're one of the last to leave because uh, I'm a little bit preoccupied this morning. Rather than rigging rods, I'm playing with a pork butt. Not an actual pork's butt, but the cut of meat. Pork butt. We're smoking some meat this morning. I'm gonna let this baby sit on the trigger while we fish and aimlessly cast at 13 pounders all day. Hey, wake up, Perry. He's awake. Hey, I just wanna, I just wanna say, man, I'm really, uh, really glad you came, and I, uh, I appreciate you coming out. Bump me. <laughs> this is mustard. Oh. I'm making pork butt. Hey, have you seen, uh, have you seen the freaking thing of like seasoning, barbecue seasoning? Can't say I have. Because I literally just got done dressing. Uh, actually, yeah, I just was cuddling with it. Right oh, there. okay, cool, gotcha. I guess a pretty stupid question or something. <laughs> roll out of bed. Did I go outside last night? I don't know, did you? I don't know. I went to bed in sweatpants and woke up in shorts. And I like have a really vivid dream of standing like right there for like a little while and then going Dude, back. If to you sleep. got up in the middle of the night, there was no way I heard you. I was <laughs> completely out. I feel that's the. I feel all right. I caught a pretty good fish yesterday. It was a 5.7 pounder. Like, first 20 minutes. I didn't even know what I was doing. First time on this lake. Just start casting up in some brush and hooked a big one. So, hoping to work off that today and maybe it'll get another bite. But we'll see. Good fish. Please tell me you're not lying. I mean, it's not 15, but. How big? Bigger than your biggest. No way. Perrick found us in the old tracker. He's fishing solo today. Grand's fishing with Matt. And uh, we, I forgot we saw that bat going. Biggest fish so far is a pound four. And um, you think it's three? Yeah. Is there one in front of the three? <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. No, I think it's three. Three seven. Three thirteen. Nice fish, man. Three pounds. Three pounds, ounces. thirteen ounces. Holy. C Sorry, three point thirteen. Yeah, as okay. in, it's a tenth of a pound. Okay. Yeah, I said about a three pounder. Three point one. Did you get any, Did you get any other love anywhere else, or? Oh uh, no, I did not. I'm gonna let this one go into the abyss. <laughs> Just put it down in like 90 feet of water. <laughs> All right. Well, we have caught a fish, and it's not one pound. Let's keep cranking. Is that part of a burrito? Just laying on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I was a mid burrito eat when I got one. <laughs> egg, and, egg and bacon flying everywhere. How far off the bottom was it? Your bait? Yeah. It was like probably five feet. Go. Did you get hit? Keep going. There's probably more down there. I just got hit too. I just got hit too. Oh, dude, there's tons of fish down there. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Get some fish. We'll take him. We'll take him. Nice, boys. We got one good one. Well, we'll take him. Just blind casting on the windy stretch, and uh, I've got my biggest bass of the trip. Honestly, it's not a bad one. <laughs> Let's get hype, boys. Dude, we we might figure them out. There was just zero excitement. That, oh yeah, that, that's a good fish. Yep. Gets the net out, nets the fish. The fish is here, and there's just nobody says anything. We're a little numb right now. It's a good <laughs> bass, though. It's a beautiful fish. Although it's been tough fishing, this feels so good. So good, and it happened on day three too. Nice quality largemouth on a tiny little swim bait, two and a half inch swim bait, light action spinning rod. Definitely my biggest fish of the trip. Feels good to finally get one. The best part about this is this might be a thousand dollar fish, courtesy of Alex Perrick Enterprise. Four, seven, three. Four pounds, 4.7 pounds. Quality freaking largemouth. Thank you so much, fish. Thank you so much. It's been a struggle, it's been difficult but a singular bite like that.
can just change the cadence and the mood. <sighs> Thank you. Never been so happy to catch a four and a half pounder before. Can you push over here yesterday? Yep. Yeah, there's some big ones out. Out in the middle. Out here. Yep. Oh, wow. This one's shooting yeah. up the bottom. Did you see that? Yeah. Look at that. 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 He's all over me. He's all over me. He just ate yeah. it. Yeah. No, little guy. That was crazy. Wow, I've not seen a fish that aggressive all trip. Fish number two of the day, just a wee little guy. I will say they are definitely acting a little bit more aggressive for us at least today, which is good. It's not easy fishing this stuff with light action spinning rods, but maybe it'll pay off. That's two now. Thanks little buddy. See you later. You. That's such a good sign. Well, it is almost 2 p.m. and we're doing some thinking and trying to figure out what we're gonna do. Going on this trip, I thought it was either gonna be like a absolute hero trip or a zero trip or one of those situations where we just get one good bite, like one person in this boat gets that big bite. It came kind of close to it. We caught almost a five pound. That's a great fish. I'm not undermining it at all. And even though that's a small fish for this lake, I don't care. We're out having fun. We may stay, grind it out for one last session or we pack up all the goods, rip back up the DFW tonight and fish a completely new lake. As much as I, I know this place's potential, I also want these guys just to catch some Texas bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the wheel. Now I'm gonna let the wheel decide. All right, the wheel is spinning. Oh, I guess we're fishing somewhere else, guys. I put I put uh, two options on there. They were both, I fish, we fished somewhere else. <laughs> I was just gonna ask. You. <laughs> let's go, let's get out of here. <laughs> I should have put a third one on there is hit the bars. Right, we're gonna go back to the ramp, tend to the pork. I forgot that we put pork on the grill and it's just been smoking for like nine hours, which isn't a bad thing, but I gotta wrap it and it's gotta smoke for a couple more. And uh, I think the decision is we're gonna, we're gonna pack out of here and go fish a completely new lake. The only problem is there's like hardly any water around here. So we do have to drive like three hours. Got a good fish today. It's been fun, but it's time to move on to some greener pastures. Cheers, waiters. We're back. What do we call this place? It's day three, but we need an official name. Give me something good. The Alamo? The Alamo. It's the Alamo, but we lost. Yeah. <laughs> we got taken over. It'd be like if the Alamo, but if they completely just got wrecked, or did they get wrecked the Alamo? The Alamo they held out, right? Isn't that the Alamo? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, I it's failed cool cool so many classes in high school. Can you tell? I think you only failed one class. What was his name? Mr. Pepperocki? No. Paleli. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He was an interesting cat. He failed you. Thanks, Paleli. Anyway, <laughs> we're back here. We got the pork butt, she's pretty much done. Still no sign of Matt and Grant, so we don't know if they're on them or not. They're gonna come in just soaked in fish slime and they're gonna be like, dude, 45 pounds. They're just gonna be shell-shocked, but it's about to throw the poppers on the, on the grill and then we're also gonna assess tomorrow's game plan because we're fishing a completely different lake, one of which I've never fished before, so it's gonna be wild. And you guys are sticking around too. We are staying here. Um, I will say this, I did fish with Grant and Matt for a little while today and Grant caught maybe 15 or 20 bass. Which is insane. That's the most numbers that as anyone's ever caught since we've been here. But they were not over a pound and a half, so. That's so weird. You couldn't got like, I'm, su I'm surprised you catch like five, ten, five ones and then like a, like a four pounder comes out of nowhere. It, I, in my instance, bass is a little different, but other fish species especially, they love to group up based on their size. Yeah, that's true. Um, bass, sometimes you get away with that, but a lot of times I feel like when you're fishing a rock pile offshore, they're all the same size. So you can end up catching like a bunch of fours or a bunch of fives. I mean, I've never done that, but I've heard about that it. That is true. Usually when I come here, I just throw an A-rig. This is gonna be interesting. This has been smoking, I think, for like 15 hours. Something insane. I did everything wrong. You're supposed to hit it with apple cider vinegar uh, pretty, pretty regularly. Um, we didn't, ha I couldn't find my barbecue seasoning, so I used like basically just salt and pepper, which is a good alternative. And what else did I do? Oh, it also sat unwrapped for like seven hours. But it did sit wrapped for like five, so we'll see. Take the third time. How's my hair look? Uh, as usual, pretty flamboyant. Flamboyant? Yeah. Your whole fit, see flamboyant. These Goldilocks? How'd y'all do? I want to ask you that question first. Not as good as you, apparently. I caught like 15. Don't you didn't catch it. any more after no that? More? I caught like 15 total. Grant is the drop shot god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He also picked up a jig and started catching first like first cast. Really? Ooh, so getting bit. Well, you guys stuck it out. You get the yeah, award for just like grinding it the most. You arrived just perfectly. We just took the pork butt off. It's probably gonna suck, but we have uh, poppers on the grill now. 
And uh, y'all just wind around and grab a drink and... Out of here. See you later. See y'all soon. Thanks, y'all. Pack up. Pretty sure. I think Matt coiled it up. Did you actually not? No, I don't think so. Did Matt pull it out? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I think yeah. so. All right, later, boys. Later, boys. Have fun. <laughs> we 100% have the extension cord, but it's buried at the bottom. But it's completely packed away. I'm gonna miss those guys. Those are that is like literally one of my favorite group of degenerates. Like it's not healthy to hang around them too much because I tend to make bad decisions. But as far as a, a group of good quality human beings that love the fish, that's the group right there. But I'm I'm sad to say we're parting ways with them. They're gonna stay one more night in the Airbnb, and we're heading to a completely new lake right now to start from scratch. It's 6 a.m. in the morning. Got a bit of a drive, but hopefully once we get there, the fish will be biting. Well, boys, let's make up for some lost ground. We got three days of fishing to to make up for. We've made it to the lake, complete polar opposites. The OH Ivy, OH Ivy, this time, 8, 8 a.m. parking lot, just about full. We're the only ones at this lake, and it's like not too far away. It's pretty crazy. New lake, gonna have to figure it out, but there's big fish in here. And like I said, it was recommended to me. Shout out Josh Jones. Thanks, buddy, for leading me in hopefully the right direction. Um, yeah, let's go f them up. That looks uh, like it looks, it. it looks real good. Yeah. <laughs> it's real promising. Is the plug in by any chance just to make sure? What? Did the plug get in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What appears is that uh, Buddy is quite happy to not be on OHI <laughs> this morning. I can't say I Wait till he hits that ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you threw I do too. I wish you carried through it. All aboard! I smell bass. Oh, there's one. Decent one. Hammer. Oh Not that bad, but it's a fish. We'll take him. That's crazy. Oh, he ate it good too. That's a good sign, boys. First fish of the freaking day. Oh. That is definitely the fastest we've caught a bass all trip on a little tiny moderate diving crankbait. He ate it good too, which is a good sign. Not the right size, but definitely the right fish. Thanks, little dude. Bye bye. We'll take him though. 40 feet of water, man. That is one way to catch them. Not a big fish, but they're down here schooling. 40 something feet of water. It's very tricky to get these fish to bite, but if you get right over their heads and you throw something that looks like a shad, they're probably gonna eat it. 42 feet of water. It's crazy. Oh, wow. There's more bait too, just beyond it. Got him. Little guy. I'll take him though. He just came on done. Damn, son of a wiener. Fish. Good one? That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. bad. Wow. Nice fight, man. <laughs> that was so, <laughs> geez, so anti <laughs> Little fatty. He's kind of got a cool little black mark on his tail. Nice. Sweet. That was awesome. Oh, dude, look at this fish. That's crazy. Yeah, mine had a black pole like that on his tail. Wild. We caught a spotted bass. It's actually a fat one. Not a very big fish, but he's fat and chunky. He won't settle down. He doesn't like to be caught in the face. Still looking for a big one, but these little ones are keeping us busy. Look at those blotches, man. He's all full of shadleys. Oh my God, his mouth really does smell like shad. That's nuts. I was just sniffing it for a joke. There you go. Nice little RG. I'll take him. I'm in hot. 
<laughs> Ryan had to go poopy, so we're gonna drop him off at the goat bank, and these guys wanna hang out with Ryan. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> gonna bring some dude lights. Please leave me alone, please. If I jump off and one of these things bites me, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, no, they're fine. They're friendly. They're nice goats. I just checked. <laughs> it's all good. It's like it's like the it's like Jurassic Park when the guy like loses his glasses and then the look he's fine. Oh, dude, careful. That's awesome. It's always an experience out in the water. We're coming to rescue you, Ryan. Can I eat it? Oh, boy. He's practicing on you. He said, all right, let's do that to this guy. Interesting. You're like bouncing off the bottom, aren't yeah. you? That might be why they tough the hook though. Huh. Well, it's a fish. This is the first day that we've all caught fish, right? Yep. Wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm actually, this is the video in which I announced my guiding service in uh, Southwest Texas, if you wanna come with me. Uh, just, uh, listen, I'm pretty booked, but you can inquire. Uh, these guys were able to squeeze in a couple of dates with me, but put you on the bags. This is how you learn to fish with John B. Yeah, no, you're actually gonna hold it a little bit farther down the butt. There you go. You got it, kid. Nice job. We're moving. I'm making a Hail Mary call right now. This lake, probably really good. But for me, it sucked because I suck. I'm not gonna self-deprecate anymore. We're heading out of here. We caught a couple of decent little fish, but they were like in 48 feet of water, super deep, chasing bait. Not the best program to be on when there's like three guys in the boat. It's like panoptic seeing live scoping is not a good thing. When you've got buddies in the boat, I'm sure you guys can attest as well. But we're gonna drive about three hours north to a place I can always count on. It's a little public reservoir. I've caught some giant fish out there. I've had 30 pound days out there. Lately it's been getting pressured, but for the last three hours of our day and the last three hours of this fishing endeavor, these main boys might still have a chance of catching a big one. So we are, we're pulling a huge audible here. I'll meet you guys at spot number three. We've made it. We started off at a 13,000 square foot lake, one of the best bass fisheries in the world. Switched over to a lake I'd never fished before, much smaller. And now we are probably at a 60 acre lake. But this is where hopefully we can make it happen. Connor just caught a nice crappie. That wasn't actually very nice though. He looked like he had been damaged. He was a heavily used crappie. But now we're on this body of water I have a bit of confidence in. We're gonna see if we can get one nice fish before this trip comes to a close. It's been tough, but one bite can change all that. Let's crank. Who makes that storm? I don't know who makes it up, no. I just started using I think it's actually a... There we go. There's a fish. Oh, on the jerk bait? On the jerk. Yeah, it might not be a bad idea to switch to that right. It's little, but it's a fish. Wow, it's really little. Little tiny bass. Little tiny bass. That's been the name of the game this whole trip. It's just super small, dinky, large mouth. Whew. Caught fish. Every lake we've been to. We're just all about this big. See you later, stinky. And it's not even a bass, it's a it's freaking a crappie. Yeah. Big black crappie. That fish looks huge on the ground. I know, they do look big. I mean, it it's a nice crappie though, I will say that. I absolutely choked it. Only the bass are eating this good. Nice white crappie. Beauty of a fish. Catch you later, love. Hey. Large mouth bass. Absolutely. Ch choked it, choked it, choked a little swim bait. Hey, little buddy. Uh, you 
They are eating. Nice little large mouth. Swimming a little tiny swim bait off the bottom. We are finding fish. Little large mouth, little crappie. Not going home empty handed. Beautiful little bass. That's epic. Cheers, boys, Cheers. to a successfully f***ed up trip with not a whole lot of fish. We made it back to North Texas safe and sound. Got some local tacos, drinking some local beer. It's been a good time. And one thing I said at the beginning of this trip before Caleb picked up the camera and we really got things kicked off is I wanted to bring you guys along with the experience. And that was, I think, the whole goal. Um, I got to see Perrick, who I haven't seen in about two years. Haven't fished with Grant in quite some time. Haven't seen uh, SB Fishing Matt in probably more than three or four years. Uh, it's been a minute. And, you know, last time I saw these guys was, of course, long last year. So it was cool to get everyone in the same area under the same roof fishing on the same lake. And while it didn't necessarily pan out for fishing wise, it was so much fun. I advocate you guys inviting your buddy, inviting a family member, take them fishing. It's the best way to grow the sport and to get folks into one of the healthiest pastimes in America, next to air hockey, probably. Air hockey is probably pretty healthy. But anyway, we're peacing out, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.